I am invested in my community um, and invested in relationships. And I think that that's a strength in the classroom because students feel like I am invested in them. I also am, uh, try to be as, as active as I can in doing meaningful work in the community and on campus. I am able to invite students to participate in that with me. You know, we're not just kind of sitting in class and doing stuffy academic things talking about ideas and, and so on, but we're actually also able to go out in the woods and um, cut some honeysuckle and then plant some trees. And I think that's uh, that kind of more active uh, participation is something that students really appreciate. So the next one should be about here? A lot of our students, yeah, right there. and I, myself included as a student, um, can be really laser focused on whatever their major is and intended career field and kind of think that classes outside of their intended career field or that don't have a readily you know apparent connection to whatever they, they want their career to be uh, I think a lot of times those classes feel like a waste of time or they can seem like a waste of time to students and so I really want to help st students to cultivate a curiosity for um, learning and knowing outside of whatever their one kind of field of focus is. You think about Hobbiton right there's a whole row of, of Hobbitals by Shark Road, right? Like, that's more like a street in a, in a city. Uh, I think I have imposter syndrome. Um, so I, um, I'm in my fifth year teaching in the Honors College, and that's five years of feeling like I don't know what I'm doing. So I am humbled to be added to this list of really incredible teachers. Um, I don't know if I belong there, but I'm, I'm very, very thankful for the award. I think it's a... Um, it's, it's, a, it's a great honor and I'm you know, thankful to the student who nominated me and I'm very thankful to the Alumni Association for their investment in, in teaching.